What's up guys, I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Lalit and I create cinematic videos. So today we are gonna talk about how you can convert a bad looking footage into a good cinematic footage. So first of all, let me show you the raw footage. So this is the raw footage and this shot was taken from my previous vlog which I uploaded on YouTube. And if you haven't watched that vlog yet, I'll just link up over here, make sure you watch it. Now, as you can see, the footage is very bad, shaky, and a lot of things are happening over here. So the very first step is that you have to slow down the footage. And if you want to slow down the footage, you have to make sure that while shooting, you have to shoot it at 60 FPS or more than 60 FPS. So I'll just slow it down by 40% since I shot it at 60 frames per second. And as you can see, this footage look much better. Now the second step is to stabilize the footage. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just nest this sequence I'll go to this effect panel I'll search for warp stabilizer and I'll just drag and drop it will take some time to analyze the entire footage so guys as you can see the video is almost stabilized and I'll show you see the footage look much better than before so this is without stabilization and this is after stabilization now it's not necessary that warp stabilizer will work for all the time for you guys but uh, for me 90 percent of time it works and yeah it depends what kind of footage you have now this footage i slowed it down by 40 percent and then i applied warp stabilizer so it's working very smooth over here now as you can see there are not much colors in this video so the next step is to color grade the footage. So I'll just go to this Lumetri color. I'll go to creative. Now I'm just gonna import the LUTs which I already have it. And uh, if you want me to create my custom LUTs, do mention down in the comment section that Larit bhai, aap leke aap apne custom LUTs. So I will try my best. So guys, I've imported my LUTs over here. And you, as you can see, uh, this is before and this is after. Now I will uh, just correct the basic correction of this footage. I'll go to this basic correction. I'll scroll down and I'll just uh, bring down the highlights and I'll just adjust those basic corrections. It's, it's all on you. It depends upon the footage, what kind of vibe you want from the footage. I'll just increase the saturation as well. And I'll just put down the whites and I'll just increase the black to give that faded effect so i guess this is it for the color grading i won't go in depth for this if you want me to upload a video on color grading do mention down in the comment so yeah, after color grading next comes the cinematic bars now what are cinematic bars so cinematic bars are basically the black borders which you see in the movies while you go to the theaters or netflix the black bars which are on the top as well as on the bottom what it does so it basically brings the viewer's attention towards the center and it makes it look cinematic. So how to apply them? So just click over here, go to files and go to new adjustment layer. Click OK and drag and drop adjustment layer above the footage. After bringing up the adjustment layer, go to this effects panel and search for crop. Just drag and drop this crop on the adjustment layer, scroll down and uh, change these properties to the top to 12 and the bottom at 12 as well. Now, as you can see, this has put the two cinematic bars on our footage. And as I said, it makes it look more cinematic. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'll just adjust the position of the video footage according to the cinematic bars which I've applied. So I'll just drag this a bit above like this. So now my framing is perfect with respect to the cinematic bars. You can work a lot on the footage uh, to make it look more cinematic with respect to the color grading or whatever you want to add. There's one more thing which I personally prefer to do, but it's not necessary. But what you can do is you can just add a sun flare, like artificial sun flare to the video. So you just have to go to the files, go to new and uh, over here, color mat. Now click on OK. Go to this orange yellowish color and just some but something like this bright color and click OK and click OK again. And as you can see, there's a color mat already created over just drag and drop over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just create a mask over here. I'll just click on this sphere 
and I'll just drag and drop to the position where I'm able to see the sun. So I'll just drag it up over here and increase the feather and I'll increase the mask expansion as well. I'll go to the opacity and uh, turn it down somewhat like 15%. I'll turn the blend board to screen. Now, this is the personal preference I basically do to most of my footages to make it look more cinematic. And also I do a lot of other stuff while color grading as well. So it's totally on your preferences, how you want the footage to look more better and more cinematic. So these were my basic steps to make a footage look more cinematic. Once again, I'll show you the before and after of this footage. So this is the before and this is the after. A lot of difference, right? So this is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys like the video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button, share it with your friends who might need the help. And also subscribe to the channel, which helps me and motivates me to come up with new and new tutorials as well as cinematic vlogs on this channel. With that being said, this is Lali Chaudhary signing off. Thank you so much.